Look, the baby's face is hurt. It's because their face is dry and peeling. Let's go find the cause. Oh, don't be scared. I'm moisture. The skin barrier wall cracked and was completely swept away by the sun and the dusty wind. The skin barrier? Could you have caused this? I'm the stratum corneum that builds the skin barrier. How could I damage myself? The teacher said that before. We had a magic oil protection layer on the outside. It's because someone destroyed this protective layer that the wall got damaged. The oil protection layer, the sebaceous glands were supposed to secrete oil to protect the skin. Sebaceous glands, are you guys being lazy? No, we're not. Lately, the oil we secrete keeps getting washed away. Washed repeatedly like that. We are exhausted. Who keeps washing the baby's face so often? The skin is dry and irritated. Just add water and it won't be dry anymore. <laughs> Uh, it turns out Cheese was washing her face while playing and dried it out. Baby's dry skin spraying water won't help. You have to apply lotion. For dry skin, you must hydrate the body and nourish the skin too. I'm Garden of Knowledge. Please like and share the video to support me. Are you really eating right for weight loss? Morning, egg whites for protein. Noon, egg yolks for energy. Evening. Weight loss isn't that simple. The key to weight loss is balanced diet and moderate exercise. Not just eating. That's absolutely right. Just replace white bread with whole wheat bread. Fried chicken with grilled chicken. Then skip the cheese and add a little fresh vegetable. And I'm a healthy burger. This way not only reduces fat and calorie intake, but also increases fiber intake. Pair it with milk. And it's a perfect breakfast. At noon, we need to replenish enough energy to tackle the afternoon work. Then it's my turn to appear. Hey, your fried food aren't you very high in calories? Uh, high calories are just my outward appearance. Actually, my inside contains 25 grams of protein. It's high quality protein. What about us? I am a potato. Top 10 weight loss foods. A high quality carbohydrate. Only 70 to 110 calories per 100 grams. Tastes great. Doesn't make you fat. Keeps you fit. Me too. I'm corn on the cob. Only 86 calories per 100 grams. Plus, I'm rich in dietary fiber and minerals. You can eat three in a row without feeling guilty. The three of us together are the weight loss power trio. Ah, uh, so what if I get hungry in the evening? In the evening, you can choose some low-calorie, high-nutrient snacks, such as a small bowl of yogurt or fresh fruit, vegetables. But you shouldn't eat for hours before bedtime, as it will burden your digestive system and affect sleep quality. I get it. It's 7.59 p.m. now, and I go to bed at midnight. So can I still eat something? I'm Garden of Knowledge. Follow me for more interesting knowledge. Baby learning to talk. What should parents do? <coughs> Jeez, this is a bunny, right? Cheese is hungry. Who make the formula now? Many parents often don't wait for the baby to finish talking before they know what the baby wants. Actually, this can discourage the baby from speaking. Brain friend, baby pooped. Why don't you say? Why talk? Isn't it just a diaper change? What's the point of talking? <laughs> so what should we do? Parents need to play dumb. The baby will speak up for what they want. <laughs> oh, baby's hungry. Okay, okay. Cheese, what's wrong? Do you have something dirty in your mouth? What do you mean? If you don't talk, I won't understand. What's going on? Why isn't it working? The baby needs nutrition. The baby has nothing left to digest. What are you doing? Almost, almost. Milk, milk. That's right. Good job, cheese. So parents, next time your baby is trying to say something, Try playing dumb a little to give them space to think and express themselves independently. What about you? What did you do when your baby was learning to talk? Are you buying the right kind of milk at the grocery store? Isn't it all a dairy product? What's the difference? This is a dairy-based drink. It's not milk at all. Don't let my small bottle size fool you. I actually contain nearly 13 sugar cubes worth of sugar. Sugar can harm a baby's teeth. Furthermore, the artificial flavors in me could potentially trigger allergic reactions in babies. I also have preservatives. If a baby consumes too much, it can damage their digestive system. So, how should we buy? Don't worry. As long as we learn how to choose correctly, we can avoid these problems. First, we need to look at the ingredients list. It's on the back of the packaging. Ingredients are usually listed from most to least by weight. So is sugar. Artificial flavors or preservatives are at the top of the list. We need to be careful not to drink too much. Second, we need to look at the nutrition facts panel. This lists the amount of nutrients like calcium, fat, and protein in the product. If you want to buy high quality milk, we must choose a kind with a calcium content of about 90 milligrams per 100 milliliters and protein greater than 2.9 grams per 100 grams. Only those dairy products can provide sufficient nutrition for your baby. What about your family? Have you distinguished between milk and dairy drinks? 
My baby is so adorable. Why does he have diarrhea again? He's only had baby food, milk, and fruit puree. He hasn't eaten anything unusual lately. Don't overthink it. A baby's gut flora hasn't fully developed yet. Occasional diarrhea is normal. No need to worry. Grandma Cheese is here. I made some fried flour using my ancestral secret recipe. It cures diarrhea every time. Mom, what century are we in? Everyone uses probiotics now. What are probiotics? Probiotics are a type of live microorganism. They can boost metabolism, promote the elimination of toxins in the gut, and effectively treat diarrhea. Fried flour has an astringent effect. It can absorb water in the intestines, which helps to solidify the stool. See, the ancestor's secret recipe is the best. But a baby's stomach is the delicate, and fried flour isn't easy to digest. It also burdens the digestive system. <gasps> Are probiotics really that good? Then I should buy more for my cheese, just to be prepared. I'm the garden of knowledge. Follow me for more interesting knowledge. Do you know why babies love sucking their fingers? Four-month-old babies are in the oral sensory phase. They explore the world through their mouths. For them, thumb sucking is an exploratory behavior and a way to self-soothe. You see, through the action of sucking and chewing, they understand different sensations and pressure. This is very important for their brain development. Plus, at this age, they may already be showing signs of teething. Sucking their fingers can help them relieve the discomfort caused by swollen gums. So, what about adults biting their nails? Adult nail biting is usually different from children. It might be a habitual action or an unconscious behavior due to stress or anxiety. Did you know 33% of children aged 710 and 45% of teenagers bite their nails? Feeling stressed, frustrated, hungry, or uncomfortable can all be triggers for nail biting. However, adults can manage stress in various ways, such as regular exercise, which releases endorphins to regulate mood, ensuring proper sleep, drinking a hot glass of milk before bed, and getting seven to eight hours of high-quality sleep to help relax the body and mind. Reducing anxiety? I'm Garden of Knowledge. Follow me for more interesting information. That was dangerous. Good thing no one got hurt. I got hurt! Normally, when we boil water in a pot or kettle, the water moves around, and when it hits the boiling point, it boils. Hey, hey, hey! I'm boiling! But when heating water in a microwave, the water doesn't circulate. It only increases in temperature. It can go past the boiling point without actually boiling. I'm boiling! Just kidding! But the water at this point is already extremely hot. Just a small disturbance will cause it to violently boil over. This is especially true for heated milk, which often forms a film on the surface. If this film is heated for too long, the surface loses moisture and hardens. The boiling milk underneath keeps building pressure and can eventually erupt and splatter out. Therefore, when heating milk in the microwave, it's best not to exceed to minutes and don't fill the cup up too much. 